Wiltshire Community Foundation is delighted to be partnering with the Partridge Trust to launch our new Older People programme. Over the last four years, we have helped the Partridge Trust to award £234,000 in 46 grants to 32 community groups, supporting almost 18,000 people over the age of 65. Here's some reflections from some of the people we've already supported. We have up to 16 guests we are able to accommodate. There are a lot of activities that go on um, so that we try and encourage the use of their physical and their mental capabilities. The grant that we have been given by the Foundation is really a lifesaver. Your grant has enabled us to uh, pay the rent um, on a weekly basis, um, which has then um, given up monies that we can use for outings, for speakers, um, for more equipment, uh, so that it will be used very beneficially for the benefits of the guests that come. They live for it. They really do. They live for the Thursdays because it brings them out into um, a social group. They have social activities. They get a good two-course meal. They can play games and let their hair down and basically have a good time. Uh, we have a guest questionnaire that goes out each year. Usually it's that they didn't like liver and bacon if there's a complaint, <laughs> but very rarely are there any complaints about how we run the day centre. What I do appreciate is the fact there is so much humour. Not, not faces which are all grown, but much humour ones and everything else. And if you come down, you, can, you look forward to it. We serve a two course meal, one day a week on a Wednesday, cost four pounds a week. Um, we do a bingo at 11.30, so they all just come and have a bit, have a bit of fun there. We do a raffle as well, so they all get to join in and bring something in each week as well. Um, we do day trips, maybe twice a year. They also have holidays, mostly Sand Bay they go to twice a year as well, which I absolutely love. Well, for a lot of them, it's their social activity, isn't it? They don't really see, some people only come out once a week, so they don't really see, some people don't have family around or even close by really, so it's nice they get to come out and chat to their friends. Some of them even just go out socially in town as well sometimes, so it just depends really. But yeah, they, they enjoy getting out and having a chat and just being out and about really, rather than stuck in the same four walls all the time. <laughs> I like coming to the luncheon club because I've got quite a lot of friends here. They're very sociable. I like running the bingo because I run bingo at other places. And we have a laugh, we have outings, and I really enjoy the company of everyone around me. I'm a, I'm a widower, so I live on my own. Uh, so uh, that means that uh, uh, I live on microwave meals, you know. When I come here, I get a proper meal. <laughs> you know, uh, without the club, um, I'd be stuck at home on my own, you know. So, yeah, it's important to me, very important, yeah. It's been wonderful for us in getting all the organisations that support people together to work in a really effective way. And um, one example is our, our little booklet on the dementia services in the area. There's lots of them and people don't know about them. And of course, people with dementia and, and the people who are looking after them really are not necessarily going to go onto the web and look for them. We began with a scheme called Safe Places, which is a national scheme which was introduced into Wiltshire. And that is to provide first level support to anybody in distress when they're out and about around the town. We have about 25 places in the city where anybody needing help can find just, just the beginnings of some support in a crisis. Um, Wiltshire Creative is really proud that the Salisbury Playhouse is part of the Safe Places scheme. Um, we want our community to know that there's somewhere for them to come, sort of a, a first line uh, response if they're feeling upset or distressed in any way, um, and that we're warm and welcoming and we're here to help anyone who needs us. Safe Places Salisbury has given us a bit of training, some um, direction to some resources so we know what to do, um, and it's just good to have a network around us um, for help and support and make sure we're delivering on what the scheme needs and what our community needs. And the money from the Community Foundation is what helps us keep our organisation going and delivering that. 